Thank you for viewing this video. I'd like to talk with you about the bridge of transition. How do we go across that bridge from the natural realm to the supernatural realm? We can walk in the Spirit. In fact, we are commanded to walk in the Spirit. And in Romans chapter 8, verse 14, it says, All those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. So how do we transition from, from the natural realm to the supernatural realm? And it's only by the Spirit of the Lord. You know, in John chapter 10, uh, Jesus says that in verse 25, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. And he says, do you believe this? And I know I believe this. And so we know that there is a bridge between this life and our next life, which is, if we're Christians, is heaven and in the presence of Almighty God. However, we don't have to wait until we lay down this body in order to transition from the natural to the supernatural and we can experience God in His fullness. And I'm standing in front of this beautiful bridge over a, a gently rolling stream. And I think about this because the Lord uh, gave me this message and He showed me a beautiful bridge. And He said, My people can go across that bridge and they can come to my throne uh, and access my presence freely. You know, it says that in Hebrews, that we can come to his throne uh, boldly and we can fellowship with him and we can talk with him. You know, and it says in uh, John chapter 14, Jesus says, I want you to be comforted. I want to, he says, I'm going away. And in uh, verse 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. See, we had to transition from, from the natural to the, to the supernatural realm, even to ask Jesus to come into our heart, to have salvation. Uh, we had to, to walk over this bridge and go into that supernatural realm uh, where we activated what Jesus did on the cross, we acknowledged what he did on the cross, and we said, I believe in my heart that Jesus is the Son of God. At that time, we walked over that bridge, and no longer are we just a human being, but we are spirit beings. Praise the name of Jesus. I get excited about thinking about this bridge and thinking about there is a supernatural bridge that we can go over. You know, he says in um, uh, John chapter 16, you know, I do believe that John the Beloved, he had a, a hold on the spiritual realm. You know, and then we see that in the book of Revelation, uh, that, that the revelation of Jesus Christ was poured out upon John. But in, in chapter 16, he tells us about the workings of the Holy Spirit. He says, Now I'm going to him who sent me, yet none of you ask, Where are you going? Because I have said these things. You are filled with grief. But I tell you, I will not leave you comfortless, but I am going to send the Holy Spirit to you. And the Holy Spirit has a work that he is to do. And if we turn back... To 14, uh, he tells us uh, exactly uh, what the Holy Spirit is going to do for us. Uh, starting in verse 15, if you love me, you will obey what I command, Jesus says. And I will ask the Father to give you another counselor or comforter to be with you forever. Hallelujah. The Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because neither. Um, sees him nor knows him but you know him for he lives with you and will be in you I will not leave you as orphans I will not leave you without someone to teach you and be your helper and that's what the Holy Spirit does and that's how we get from the natural realm 
to the supernatural realm is by the Spirit of the Lord. We activate that Spirit on the inside of us uh, through the baptism of the Holy Spirit, uh, through uh, the speaking in tongues or our prayer language. We activate that supernatural realm and we walk across the bridge. We walk across the bridge into the presence of Almighty God, into the joy of joy unspeakable and full of glory we walk into healing we walk into prosperity we walk into that realm where god says every need will be met every provision will be be there for you i pray for you today that you will walk over this bridge that you will not be satisfied with where you are, but that you will say, I must walk over uh, into the supernatural realm. I must experience God in His fullness. I pray for you right now that God will just come and comfort you and bring you peace and bring you revelation of who He really is. Thank you for viewing. God bless you.